Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Patrol Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Patrol. If you have suggestions for future videos, or if there's something special you want to see, be sure to let me know down in the comments. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to machine a concave radius on the outside of a part. I will also show you how to use the machine to calculate the required endpoints when the print provides you with the location of the center of the radius, but not all of the X or Z positions for that feature. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, here's our next workpiece. So this is the concave radius that we're going to be machining next. It's a 1.25 inch radius in the outside of the part and then it has a 250 radius on the front of it a small diameter at 2.3 inches and then it's got a hundred thousandths typical radii at each end of the large radius so let's get started programming it now so what we're gonna do push the left button Go to program, program file, and we're going to select work number 90. So go back to program, work number 90, input. If it's a new program, push the program button. Maze Troll or EIA, going with Maze Troll. Workpiece material is aluminum. Max outside diameter is 3.25 inches. Inside diameter is zero. Workpiece length is 4 inches long. Spindle limit is 2,000 RPM. Finish allowance on X is 10 thousandths on X. 5 thousandths on Z. Stock removal of work face is zero because I've already faced off this part and I'm recycling old stock for this particular program. So down arrow. All right, first thing we're gonna do is turn on the coolant, push the three arrows, M code, coolant on, down arrow, and now let's start programming this part. So it's gonna be machined out of bar stock. On the outside, the open geometry, cutting point on X is 3.25 inches, cutting point on Z is zero, surface speed for rough, so all the feeds and speeds I'm going to auto-populate except for the depth of cut. I'm going to manually change that to 30 thousandths for this particular tool. And I'm going to machine it using a 35 degree diamond. Push the tool data. And it's going to be tool number two. Tool file. And it's a 93 degree 35 degree tool, 35 degree insert. And go back to program. So tool two, offset number one, tool two, offset number one. So now what we're going to do is push linear, starting corner. So we have a diameter here that has a small flat on it and it's 2.3 inch diameter with a quarter inch radius. So push radius, 0.250. Final point on X, 2.3 inches. Final point on Z, we don't know the final point on Z. So I'm going to leave it at zero for right now. And we'll come back to that in a little bit. Surface roughness is seven, down arrow. Now we're gonna program the concave radius. So this shape looks like this one down here. So this is the concave radius. Starting corner, we're gonna push continue. And then we're going to arrow over to the starting point on Z and push the question mark. Final point on X is going to be over here to 3.2 inches. And the final point Z is not specified on the print. 
So we're going to put a question mark for the final point on Z. And then the radius here is 1.250. And a surface roughness of 7. Down arrow. So now when we have question marks, we need to tell it the center of where this radius lies in relation to the machine coordinate system. So push center. Arc center X. The center of this arc is, as a radius, 2 inches from the middle but it, the machine calculates this position as a diameter. So the diameter of that center point is four inches in diameter. Arc center Z, from the face of the part, it's one inch 250 back. And then the intersect position of the start point from the radius so from this position, this corner here is in a downward area, but more importantly, it's to the right of the center. So this corner, if we look at the arrow, we're going to pick the right arrow for this first starting position. Push right intersect position of final point. So from the middle position, over here, this position is to the left of the center. So we're going to pick the left arrow. And then we're going to program this horizontal line here, 3.2 inches. And we're going to give it a hundred thousandths radius. And we're going to go back three inches. And one thing I forgot to do was put in this radius right here at the start of the feature. It says a hundred thousandths typical and there's a radius right here. So right here, radius 0.1, input. And now we're going to push the right button, push calculate, and it calculated these two starting and ending positions. But if we push figure check, we're going to get an error because we didn't put anything in Z. So we need to go back up to it and put this position in for Z. So 0 0.3335 input, shape end, and end. So right button, figure check, and then there's our part. So we're going to push the store button, push scale, and we're going to zoom this area up. And there's our part. So now let's check the tool path. So left button, go to program, check, check continue. And this is the small 30 thousandths nibbles that we're going to be doing because I want to run it without cooling. Normally I would be doing about a 50 thousandths step to cut with this tool. path of race. Now there's the finish pass and it's done. So what we need to do now is set our work shift, call up the program and hit cycle start. All right I just set the work shift and called up the program so now we're ready to hit cycle start and I'm going to run it without coolant so we can see what's happening.
uh, push speed hold and I'm going to paint this workpiece right here. That way we can watch the machine cut the chips, the virtual stock, while the machine's running. Finish pass. And there's our part, with a big radius right down the center of it. If you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.